In today's gospel passage, Jesus tells us not to be anxious because the most important thing in life is assured, our eternal salvation. Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And so Jesus goes before us and shows us the way to heaven. He who is the way, the truth, and the life. Today's passage is from our Lord's Last Supper discourse, where he gave his apostles the authority to consecrate ordinary bread and wine to become his living body and blood. When we participate in the Holy Eucharist, we are filled with heavenly blessing and grace. The Eucharist is an anticipation of our heavenly glory. Our participation in the Eucharist unites us more closely with Jesus, sustains us on our pilgrimage way, and unites us even now with the church in heaven, the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. And so the closest we come to being with our departed loved ones who are in heaven is when we participate at Mass and receive our Lord in Holy Communion. This is so because the saints and angels in heaven are perfectly incorporated into Christ. Saint Therese of Lisieux understood this great mystery very well. For instance, when receiving First Holy Communion, the young mystic was driven to tears because she realized that as Jesus came into her heart, so too did all of heaven. Therese's mother had died three years prior to that time. Therese wrote, and I quote, As all of heaven entered my soul when I received Jesus, my mother came to me as well. As we come to receive our Lord in Holy Communion this morning, let us thank him for feeding us with his body and blood and preparing a place for us in his father's home. God bless you.